I sailed, I'm a sailor. I'm sailing. <laughs> a sailboat and a sexy woman. Before we change locations, I had to catch up on just a little bit of fishing. All right, golly, we got one. Yeah. All right. Another fish. We got one. Got something. A little bigger this time. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Good side. It just started. Yeah. It's got a lot of color to it. Yes. Caught a few fish today. We just had that huge boat go by. And here's, here's the wake. Let's see what it does. Our little boat on the beam. Sometimes this thing gets into a rhythm, a weeble wobble. It doesn't fall down, but it just keeps weeble wobbling. And just a little bit of maintenance on the boat. Fixing hinges. Okay. Everything has to work perfectly <laughs> on a boat or else it's dangerous. <laughs> Got the prettiest helper ever. We'd actually hand me screws. At least I get to look up your shorts from there. <laughs> Show me your banana. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Oh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> okay, it works again. Now back to having fun. I just get prepared to leave this little paradise and head back inland just a little bit. I'm gonna bump it ahead, straight ahead, make sure it's straight. Good. There's supposed to be a store. We can get close to the store. There's the camp store. It's nice. Seeing something new here. See any signs? Say you can't. See any signs? People sitting. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a fence right there. Yeah. Didn't really look like a typical mooring spot. Trying to formulate a plan on how to get the boat in there safely. For any obstructions. Dangerous currents is what it says. I can see that. The shallow depth alarm goes off at three feet oh. or one meter. I'll just nosy up there. Hopefully, you can step right up. Looks like a party spot. Navionics shows that it gets quite shallow by the wall, and it was right. Pretty oystery right here. But we pressed on and made it happen. And I was like, it's kind of shallow in some of this water. I don't know how deep that boat sits in the water. But... It's actually pretty shallow, this boat is. It's got a, a keel, but it swings up. No, we did. We brought it down on a trail. But we are going to sail from here to Key West. How long does that take? It's going to take us a long time. And we're going to take our time. <laughs> to stop every little place. Yeah, I was going to say, we just did 30 days in the car traffic. Did you really? Yeah, so to do it on water sounds that's what I'm talking about. You just got done traveling how many states? 25 states. Yellowstone, Glacier, Arches, Canyonlands. So how'd you end up here in Florida? We moved down here. So you're telling me that you traveled half the country and you decided to start living in Florida. That's yeah. right. I love Florida too, guys. I, I don't blame you one bit. You been to Charlotte? Charlotte's a great little town, isn't it? Yeah, I go to that part right now. You say you've been to the Charlotte race. You ever been to the dirt track at Charlotte? You enjoy watching the dirt racing? I, I know a lot of dirt drivers. You do? Yeah. What part of the country are you from? Knoxville, Tennessee. Oh, sure. There's a lot of dirt racing over there. 411 Speedway comes to mind. Oh, the gap, Tazewell. Yeah. I know Jimmy Owens. Oh, yeah. Number I know 20. Scott Bloomquist. You do? That's interesting. I just met Scott Bloomquist for the first time. Barefoot Racing Adventures. The man, the myth, the legend. Scott Bloomquist is here today somewhere in the pits. I put a GoPro on Bloomquist. Got an interview with him. I put it all together on a video. You can find it on YouTube. Barefoot Racing Adventures. We enjoy that. We've caught some fish, hit some beaches, and just had a good old time. YouTube video? Yes, sir. Barefoot Sailing Adventures on YouTube. The time to live is now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Always. You wait. I mean, 
you may never do it. If you wait, you never know what can happen that can stop you. Get hurt, get sick, shut down the country. Oh, Good yeah. luck on your YouTube channel. I Barefoot it. Sailing Adventure. That's it, man. So here we are at this just tropical, absolutely tropical paradise. And it's a campground. Can you believe this? What a gorgeous campground. And look, they've got ice. There is the boat. They have an elevator here. I'll tell you what, I'm getting old enough. I could probably use the elevator myself. Open. I think Ashley would like go with the cookie dough for her. Oh yeah, she's gonna love me. But what a great little store you have here. Look, they've got all kinds of stuff. This is great. I mean, they got everything. This is awesome. Thank you so much. See what Ashley thinks of this. Yeah, it's mountain. Sweet. Holy <laughs> cow, that is a mess. I only had time just to walk it down. She's got her hands full. You can always anchor anywhere around here. There's the bridge. I mean, what a view that we do have here. You get to see the bridge. There's that pretty American flag flying. Is that a bald eagle? Yeah. <laughs> We're surrounded by mangroves. Yeah, it's a big body of water, really. It feels like we're in the middle of the nowhere. Because we are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. In Florida, USA. We're here at Fort DeSoto. And we are having the time of our life. There he is. Hi, Mr. Manatee. Yeah, he's right here. Here he is, right here. Here he comes. Hi. Hi there, how are you? Baby. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. The sea cow. Ashley's got a big fish on. It's still on there, she said. Oh, it's a shark. Is it? A big one? A little one? No, Pretty good size one. Oh, Try to pull him up to the surface. Oh. There's something else right by. There's a manatee right beside us. Oh yeah, I see it. Whoa. Whoa. All right, the man's a drone. It's okay. He'll be fine. Let's just. He's gonna get wrapped around the motor and stop. He's trying hard. Okay. 